Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about mining and the best graphics cards to use for mining Ethereum. So Ethereum, you can see right here, uh, we've got a price of 310 US dollars. And this hasn't been the highest price Ethereum has had. It's been, if I go to the one year mark here, we can look at the graph and we've seen it skyrocketed up to almost 400 at some points. And now we're just balancing out at about 300. Um, so Ethereum is definitely still here in the marketplace and there's a lot of people mining it and selling it. So it's a great time to get in and start mining. So that being said, uh, I'm just going to be re reviewing the performance uh, versus the cost of some of the graphics cards on the market or the best graphics cards, in my opinion, on the market. So let's get started right away. Just talking about the GTX 1070. So I've got this Amazon link up uh, right here and you can see immediately the price. Uh, well, the stock price is $610 Canadian, uh, but right now it's on sale for $564. So the hash rate on this GTX 1070 is about 27 mega hashes stock. Uh, again, this really depends on what model of card you get. Some of them you're going to get lower. You're going to get 24, 25. Uh, some of them you're going to get much higher. You might even get to 29. And this is again just the stock. So if you were to overclock this card, you could get a lot more performance out of it. So personally, I do recommend this card as it is a pretty hefty price, but not compared to the the next cards that we're going to talk about. So for example, the 1080 Ti, uh, and this one will definitely get the job done and it is overclockable, obviously, as all graphics cards are. Uh, and you can get about 27 mega hash stock. So you can probably get it up to about 30 by overclocking. All right, so let's get down to the next one now. So now we're going to talk about the GTX 1080 Ti. So immediately we can see a huge price difference here, almost double the price. So again, right now it's on sale, but usually it costs $1,100. Now the question here is, is it worth it? So the stock mega hash per second on this card is actually about 32 mega hash per second. Again, obviously depends on what uh, company you're getting it from. And if you get lucky with the card, some cards from different companies can just range uh, by mega hash, just by the way that they're built and the quality. So you're going to get about 32 stock. Uh, again, overclocking, you can probably bump this up to about 37. I've seen some people getting 38 out of it, which is pretty amazing. Um, so is it worth your money? Well, yes or no. So it's an extra $500, uh, $600, and you're only getting about at max 10 mega hash per second more. And that's if you overclock it. Uh, versus the GTX 1070. So I'll let you be the judge of that. But personally, I wouldn't get these cards for mining as they have a huge capital startup cost. Uh, and especially if you're not a huge miner and you're only going to have two or three cards in your rig, this one is kind of too expensive. And it does draw a ton of electricity too, especially this model with the three fans. So I would probably go with the 1070 in this case. Okay, so now that we've gone through the top two NVIDIA cards, let's go over to AMD. So we're going to start talking about the 480. So the RX 480 is not as good as the other cards I've talked about, but for the price, it gets the job done. So a stock mega hash for this card is about between 22 and 24 mega hash per second. Now with these AMD cards, you can actually modify the BIOS um, to get a lot more performance out of these cards. And again, you can obviously overclock them and get them up to about maybe 28, 29 mega hash per second. So personally, I own one of these cards and it hashes for me at stock at about 23 mega hash per second. And with overclocking, I can bump it up to about 27. And again, this one is used for 375. They're very hard to come by right now. Um, you can't really find too many new ones for a decent price. Uh, I'd say new for this card is maybe around $500 if you can find it. But you can also pick up a bunch of them on eBay uh, and Newegg as well. They have some RX 480s as well. So now let's move on to the RX 580. Okay, so as this is a model higher than the RX 480, you would assume it is a lot better. Well, as it does get better mega hashes, so it gets between 25 and 26 mega hash per second on stock, there is an issue with this card that has been noticed. So when you're mining Ethereum, uh, there's something called the EPOSH. So right now, I believe we're on about 144, 143. Um, but as time goes on, this card has continually gone down in performance. So back in at the 130 EPOSH, um, this card was getting about 30 mega hash per second. And currently, it's getting about 25 to 26 on stock. 
So that's something to look out with this card. Um, when you're mining with it, as time goes on, the performance is going to get worse. Now, if we look at the price here, it's cheaper than all of the other cards. So is it worth it to get this card? Well, uh, if you're just starting up mining, this isn't a bad card to get. And you, if you find out that you want to get better cards later on, you could always sell this one and invest into a newer card, maybe a 1070 or an RX 480. Um, even though this one does hash more as time goes on again, like I've said, the performance is going to go down. Okay, so now it's time for me to kind of rank which ones I think are the best and which one I would personally recommend. So like I said before, I have an RX 480. That's just because I got a really good deal on it, uh, buying it used. But personally, I would probably recommend the 1070. And this is just because of the performance pretty much and because of the cost. So like I said, we get stock about 27. Uh, when you're overclocking, you can probably get up to 30, even higher than that. And right now in Canadian dollars, the price is $564, which is pretty uh, expensive, but compared to the 1080 uh, is a much more reasonable price. So getting a rig with six of these cards or five of these cards, you can be making quite a bit of money per month and per year and definitely making your return back on this card. Whereas we go to the 1080 here, we're only getting about three or four, maybe even five mega hash per second more, but for an extra $400, $500. And in my opinion, that's not really worth it, especially if you're just starting out mining, um, because you're putting a ton of capital up and we don't really know exactly where the market's gonna go with Ethereum. And if this card is gonna be able to sustain this super high mega hash as the Eposh go on. So there you have it. Uh, I just did kind of a quick review here of the top four cards for mining. So we can go through it one more time. We have the 580, the 480, the GTX 1080 Ti, and then the GTX 1070. And this is the one that I re would recommend. If you're looking to purchase any of these cards, I do have the link to all of these down in the description. Go ahead and click on that to load up Amazon. And other than that, have a nice night. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again.